This little clip is called Separation Happens, and its goal is to help you understand the power of mapping to higher dimensional spaces. So I have a data set here that's randomly generated, and there's no line that can separate the positives from the negatives. So you can, you can try to put a line uh, that would separate the positives and the negatives, but it won't work because there is no such line. However, if you take these data and you map it to a higher dimensional space, there is a hyperplane that separates the data. And in particular, I've constructed this data so that if you add one more dimension, namely x1 to the fifth power, then the data can be separated by a hyperplane. That's, that's not to say you always want to take data that's not separable and project it into a higher dimensional space to separate it because that could lead to overfitting, but I just want to show you the power of mapping to higher dimensional spaces. Okay, so I'm going to add a third dimension, which is uh, um, x, x1 to the fifth power. Okay, so there's my third dimension, so x1 to the fifth. And now there is a way to rotate this, this, uh, you know, this data to, to, so that you actually can separate it by um, a hyperplane in this space. So I'm showing it right here. So, you, so here you, you can actually draw a line that would separate the data separate the positives from the negatives in the data set. Okay, so hopefully that helps you understand the power of mapping to higher dimensional spaces and that sometimes even if data are, are not separable or not even close to separable in a low dimensional space, when you map them into a higher dimensional space, you gain that extra power and you can, you can produce much better classifiers. Thanks.